Good morning, everyone. Virgo Triad here. It is March 20th, 2018. Hope everybody is having a great day. Um, I had had some requests with regards to information pertaining to a gentleman by the name of Gene Keating that uh, his name is going around a few gurus uh, websites uh, promoting accepted for value and promoting secured party creditor status also promoting um, a, a, more, a couple of mortgage packages that Gene is supposedly supposed to be proficient at. Um, I've heard everything from Gene Keating be, being a licensed attorney with the bar to um, Gene Keating being a common law attorney, self-proclaimed attorney not an attorney that has ever gone to law school. So I was asked to do some research on it. I did the research on it. And the best thing that I could find to explain it to everybody was a video that was made by a gentleman named Dozik. He's got some wonderful things on his site. I'm gonna be linking his site directly below this video. Please visit it. He's got some awesome information that you can take a look at. I'm going to borrow just a snippet of one of his videos so that it answers the question for those of you that have asked me uh, who Gene Keating is and what he represents. Is he really proficient with regards to secured party creditor status, accepted for value, or mortgage information? Um, so I'm, I'm going to go ahead and just play this short snippet and cut this off quickly. I, uh, I'm not going to make a big long video this morning. So everybody uh, take a listen. From a two-hour uh, seminar uh, given by Tony King. Uh, and if you're curious, uh, the cost of attending one of those seminars is $450. But uh, what's interesting is that he mentions that he got his information from Gene. So, so I wondered, uh, could he mean Gene Keating? Turns out that's exactly who Tony King got his information from, Gene Keating. And uh, there's a bit, there's a conference seminars and conferences in which uh, Gene Keating and Tony King were working together. Now let's keep in mind here: Tony King is a pastor. Gene Keating is just a crazy guy. Neither of them are attorneys. Neither of them have any legal training or experience dealing with foreclosures uh, or um, training that would allow them uh, to uh, provide actual legal. Now, uh, remember that the the topic of the seminar with Gene Keating was mortgage foreclosures. Now, the, interest, the, the ironic part about that is that Gene Keating has a losing record dealing with uh, mortgage foreclosures. The, uh, the only thing that shows up when you look up, uh, when, I, when I looked for uh, Gene Keating uh, court records online, is a case from 2010. Uh, people of California, Gene Keating, blah, 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 the Bank of America, Countrywide Home Loans, blah, blah. This is a lawsuit filed by Gene Keating uh, trying to avoid a foreclosure. Uh, and this is the final judgment. And as you can see, Gene Keating lost his case uh, disastrously. Um, let's read it here. Quote, this court having entered its July 13th 2010 order denying plaintiff Gene Keating's motion for reconsideration and granting defendants motions for attorney's fees hereby enters judgment in according with that order as follows. One, the plaintiffs shall recover nothing, the plaintiffs being uh, Gene Keating. Uh, this action is dismissed on the merits. And two, defendants shall recover their cost of this action from plaintiff Gene Keating, including attorney's fees, in the sum of $73,187.30, uh, dated uh, September 16th, 2010, and we got the judge's signature, blah, blah, blah. Um, so uh, Gene Keating has zero wins on records when dealing with foreclosures, but he passes himself off as an expert in foreclosures and, uh, and the law in general. So Tony King, the, the teacher of Tony, Tony King, is a fraud. So for those of you that wanted information with regards to Gene Keating and the status of him being an actual attorney, uh, what his um, percentage rate is of wins, uh, we have a 0% uh, 
uh, win ratio, which is not surprising, being that Mr. Keating is actually not an attorney. Um, calling yourself a common law attorney or a common law judge simply doesn't hold water when it comes to the fact that they do not have any law degree to back it up. There's not studying that has, has gone on that would provide them with the capability of being able to assist, certainly not for payment, uh, another party in a with a mortgage problem. Um, and I absolutely would not be taking the advice of someone who uh, has no law degree to, you know, or any kind of um, any kind of uh, law degree that would allow them to tell you how to deal with the Internal Revenue Service or the Treasury Department when it comes to accepted for value. I really have to question the gurus that are pulling up names like Gene Keating uh, simply because of the fact that it seems as though you keep getting deeper and deeper into fraudulent individuals and resources that you're handing your listeners that uh, are going to do nothing but bring you down um, if any real research is done on these individuals. So I would think about that if I were uh, trying to pull off a a scam like the redemption theory scams and prove that these things are real. And for those of you that are questioning me on these individuals, I want to thank you because this gives me the opportunity to go back and look at these people and find out why it is that people seem to find these people uh, credible. And when I look around the different gurus videos and websites, I'm seeing why, and it is because they are all in it for the same reason, and that would be financial gain, and it is greed. So um, there you have it, information on Gene Keating as promised, and um, I hope this helps you guys out to know who you're dealing with. Um, a, just a short video, so if you want additional information, please leave it in the comments or send me an email. Everybody have a great day. Bye-bye.